Hello everybody and welcome to week 2. This week's presentation topics is all about the box model using CSS, Cascading Style Sheets. This will form part of assignment 1 and the criteria we will be meeting is P2. We're going to look at four elements of the box model. We're going to look at the content area, padding, border and margin. So there's only four things we need to remember about the box model. Now what is a box model? Well, a box model quite simply is a box. And all the following examples of the box model that we're going to look at will use external style sheets. Now we've already look, looked at external style sheets in the first week. Uh, if you're unsure, go back to the exercises we did in week one. Have a look at the Guitar Heroes website again. Um, specifically the, the two um, pages that we use the external style sheet with. And make sure that you look at those um, style sheets. You understand how they function and how they work. Okay, so why do we use external style sheets? Well, they are obviously the most useful from a maintenance perspective. Don't forget that we set up a website, we'll link all our pages to an external style sheet. If we've got a website with 10 pages, um, your client comes along and says, well actually I don't like the main text, uh, the font's not correct, or the size isn't correct, or, or the colour's not right. We change it in the style sheet, and as long as all those pages within the website are linked to that external style sheet the whole site changes with it so from a maintenance perspective it, it saves a lot of work okay anyway let's have a look at the box model now the box models made up of these um, four distinct areas we've got the padding we've got the border we've got the margin and the width and you'll notice on the diagram there's a, an extra um, section there called content area well, Content area is, is where everything goes within the box model. So the width really is the actual property. The content area is, is the information or the pictures or whatever we decide to place in there. Um, so don't don't get confused. There's not actual five areas. There's four. So you've got a border. You've got a margin. You've got padding. And you've got this content area. Okay. So each property um, within our box model will have a pixel size. So let's say for example this is part of a style sheet. Let's say for example we've got a dot box label for our box model. Open our curly brackets, close our curly brackets and place our properties within the curly bracket. So we set the width at 200 pixels, the border at 10 pixels, padding at 20 pixels, margin at 20 pixels. Okay. So as far as you're concerned that's all you really need to understand. I mean, we need to understand how this affects the box model, but you've got those four properties within the box model to understand. And dot box, don't think everything, because it's the box model, everything's called dot box. It could be called dot Bob, Tom, Dick, or Harry. It doesn't really matter. Um, a meaningful name, obviously, is the best thing to choose, but if we call it Tom, if we call it Bob, I just call it box because that obviously makes sense. Okay, so dot box uh, it's a custom class we've named it box we we could name it something else property so the first property we're looking at is the width and then a value is um, the, the size in pixels don't forget that the curly bracket the colon and the semicolon all form part of the syntax of style sheets so here's an example of a small box model okay and I've called it small box these are the properties with 70 pixels, border 10 pixels, solid. That's a, a, another property for the border. Uh, obviously, it makes the, the border um, a solid filled in color. And then the actual color, we want to um, fill in that border. In this example, I, I've colored it in black. So we've got this hexadecimal value of all zeros. So that's this section here. Okay. The the margin and the padding and if we look at the actual HTML how it would look in the HTML we use a div tag uh, it's, a, it's a, a class custom class so div class equals small box it will call up that box model and then anything that we place inside the box model such as um, small box model as a title I've used a H2 um, HTML tag to create a title for the box model area and then simple example of the box model is just the text I've written there okay 
make sure you understand that before you move on to the next slide just to reiterate that that's the CSS code that's the HTML code so these are two even though it's on one slide I'm looking at two separate documents here okay and that's kind of a snapshot of how it would look on a website I will do some more um, videos so you can see how this works and I'll write some code for you and then probably make more sense actually by doing that okay here's another slide and um, what I want you to do is look at the picture identifying the picture to the left the properties is listed above and state the overall width so have a think about this one just pause the video have a think about it work it out okay so did you ever think about that well it's a bit of a trick question this because the width is 70 pixels the border is 10 pixels so we've got a border either side so that makes the overall width at the moment 90 because we've got 70 plus 10 plus 10 the margin is 10 and again it's the same thing so we're on 110 at the moment because we've got 70 plus 10 for the border plus 10 for the border that side so that makes it 90 plus the margin is 10 pixels so that's 100 and on the other side that makes it 110 and then similarly the padding again everything's doubled up basically so the answer should be 130 if you work that one out well done if you didn't work that one out, look at the, the uh, diagram again and make sure you understand why the answer is 130.